Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today is Throwback Thursday, so I'm bringing you an album share from a Disney trip that we took back in 2008. <laughs> So here is my Disney, uh, one of my Disney albums from 2008. I have a few. It was my first trip to Disney as well as my kids. My husband had been as a child, but this was the first time I'd ever gone and it was a pretty cool trip. So I have quite a few volumes of this, but I wanted to bring this one to you because a lot of the layouts in this album are embellished using Cricut layered files. And I would like to do a series on Cricut layout, Cricut layered cut files. So um, let's get started. So this, I think this album is by, uh, no, Sandy Lion. So it's an older one. I'm not sure where I got it from. And, but you can find these usually like on Facebook Marketplace or places like that because um, people buy them and then don't make the album. So anyhow, here is where we're gonna start. Let me just move my lighting a little bit so that we don't have that glare. Okay, so here is the first layout about meeting Sully. This was Aiden's favorite character greeting during this trip. And I used a um, cut file that I found online. Now, I can't tell you probably where most of these cut files were found because it was a long time ago that I made this. I think I built this album when I first got my Cricut Explorer and I could use SVGs in 2013 maybe. So, um, yeah. So here's Sully and this was the title that came with it. Actually, you know what? This one might be, I have a Cricut cartridge called Pixar, and I bet you this is, that's what this one's from. So, and then this one doesn't have any Cricut files. I think this was actually a layout kit that I bought somewhere. And if you see these little stickies, covering up people's faces it's because at the time of this trip we had a foster child and we took him on the trip with us and I just don't have permission to share his face online so um yeah so I think this one was I don't think this is my design this was a page kit that I bought and this is another uh Cricut file this one might also no this one was like a cut file from somewhere but I don't know where I got it from <laughs> can't tell ya but this is the kind of thing I want to do but I'll show you where to find cut files like this uh, Beast's Library this one I think was also a Cricut cartridge um, the clubhouse so this is a cut file this uh, Mickey Mouse clubhouse right here and then these guys are just uh, stickers that I got at Michael's. But this cut file came from, I think, PPBN Designs, but that company no longer exists online. If you look for them, you can find just like a page that says it doesn't work anymore. I tried to look it up. And let's see. So then this one is this title is a cut file. These balloons were cut files and stars. And that is from, I think, um, Miss Kate Cuttables is where that one's from. This one I got on Etsy. It said, I'm just here for the turkey leg, <laughs> which I loved because I don't know why my kids were so obsessed with those giant turkey legs, but it was a real thing for them. Uh, my little guy didn't like it though, he got corn. <laughs> so did I. I didn't enjoy the big turkey leg either. Tasted like ham to me, which weirded me out. But anyway. Um, yes. And this is just patterned paper. This is not a cut file. This is a sticker, not a cut file, but just the turkey leg and the title. Um, this is a different kind of cut file. So I picked a heart cut file. 
I have a tutorial for this on my YouTube channel and this is all layered ribbon in Disney colors and so is this. So it's one of my favorite things to do with ribbon is to layer it up to back a cut file. So a little bit different but still using the Cricut and I had like Disney buttons and stickers. Um, Alice is from a Cricut cartridge as well. And so is the Caterpillar and the title. These are stickers. Mm, this is a printable. I don't know where it came from though. And then this is a sticker from Jolie's Boutique, but the title and the carriage are a cut file and I'm not sure where that one came from either. Maybe that PPBN designs, I got quite a few from there. This one, um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's blue, but then on top is like a vellum covering it. So it looks like the, anyway. It, it's pretty in real life. It's hard to see on the computer. And same with the glass slipper. It's vellum on the outside, so that's kind of gives that like see-through feel to it. Um, this one was a page kit from online, and I think it was Miss Kate. But Timothy was separate. Timothy was from the Cricut cartridge. And so was the title. No, the title was from a different file that was for actually for cruises. I've never been on a Disney cruise though. And then this one, this whole thing was a page uh, cut file from, I think from Miss Kate Cuttables. And that's really cute too. I like how it wasn't a lot of layering, like Peter Pan is just a silhouette and the ship is just a silhouette, but it looks really cool. This one was meant to be a, sorry, I'm bumping the camera, that's my bad. Uh, this one was meant to be like a July 4th um, cut file, but I used it for these, um, this parade thing. And I had some stickers, I, I don't live in the States, so, but sometimes we'll get in bundles or packages from various places we'll get stickers and stuff that are American themed and so um, I think I've gotten rid of most of them now but I keep some of them in my travel box because we travel to the states plenty this was another page kit from Miss Kate Cuttables super cute and so for these ones I like to still use as you can see patterned paper it's just not a totally cardstock layout either right this has a background patterned paper and then I also like to do things like this where I add like a brad or an enamel or something to like embellish some string so it's not like I just cut it out and glue it down and feel like I'm finished either um, these Brother Bear ones I found online, but I can't find them anymore, so I don't think that they are still out there. There used to be a lot of like Disney layered cut files online when, I think when Silhouette first came out with the whole SVG thing, but I'm pretty sure Disney slowly shut that all down because I can't find them as freely anymore. But I will in my series show you some places where they still exist outside of purchasing the expensive Cricut cartridges, although Cricut does have really cool Disney cartridges that you can buy digitally. Just saying. This was another one from that PPBN Designs. I can tell from the way that it layers and I really loved her store. I'm sad that it's not there anymore. And I love the little lantern. And see here again, I added like ribbon and a brad, and this um, looks like cardstock, but it's actually a patterned paper that's like, looks like it's textured pink. Um, some brads. And then I also, I don't know if you can tell from here, but I do ink the edges to give like the, so that it's not just um, paper, it's got a little bit of dimension to it. You can kind of see it around the outsides of the castle parts. 
and a little bit on the wording too. So I'll show you how to do that. This is another PPBN Designs one that no longer exists, but it's so cute. Look at those little Muppet babies. Aren't they sweet? And then I also cut this film strip using my Cricut. Um, this Toy Story one I think was a cut file from somewhere, but I'm not sure where. I have a few, and then but I also have the Pixar cartridge, and I think I might also have a Toy Story cartridge. Not sure. I'll have to look. But this is a paper. This was a, just a, I think, EK success paper. But the little clouds, because remember how Andy always had clouds on his wall? The clouds are from my Cricut, and again, they're cut with um, like a shiny white cardstock with a little bit of vellum on top. And then this ladybug one was meant to be for like a little girl page, but I changed it and, and added this word that I just typed out myself. I can't remember what font I used and then um, welded it together and poked holes in it. Turned out kind of cute, hey? And then this is the last page and this one is from one of my Disney Cricut cartridges as well. And then got some wood veneer on there, pattern paper, string. I loved these things where they had like, they were like, these are brads brad bars I think they were called and then they had these loops on them and then I would loop string through and then make this little like I really liked those I wonder if I still have some okay and that's it for today thank you so much for hanging out with me I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please click that like button to give me a thumbs up if you are interested in seeing how to use um, your Cricut to make some layered embellishments for your layouts stick with me maybe um, hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when a new video goes up have a great day everyone bye for now